This is a video showing the Instana integration with Splunk. There are two ways to integrate Instana and Splunk. The first one is using a Splunk add-on and application. In this case, we have an Instana add-on and application installed on Splunk. The add-on is pulling metrics from Instana, and those metrics are visible with the application dashboards. The second way of integrating is sending alerts from Instana to Splunk using the HTTP event collector. Let's see how the integration is done. Please make sure you refer to the current documentation about the Splunk integration for the most updated information. If you go to Splunk Base and search for Instana, you'll see the add-on and the application. Please read the details for the most updated instructions. We downloaded the add-on and the application to a local machine. Go to Manage Application and choose Install App from File. Upload the file for the add-on and the application. Please note that there may be restarts. Now that both the add-on and the application are installed, we'll click on the add-on. Create new input, give it a name, polling interval, index, and in this case we just chose the default query. We switch to configuration, configure a proxy if needed, and give the add-on settings, the base URL, and the API token. The API token can be retrieved from the Instana setting, access control, API token. If you don't have an API token, you can create a new one. We can now go to the application and see the information that is pulled from Instana. To set up the notification, we can go to Settings, Data Input, switch to the HTTP Event Collector, and create a new token. Give it a name, select Source Type and Context, the default index, and submit. Don't forget to copy the token value. Now we go to Instana Integrations and add an integration. Give the Splunk integration a name, the URL, and paste the token. You can test and save. Now switch to Alerting Configuration and create a new configuration. Give it a name, choose the event rules, and select the integration. We can now look at a completed environment where the integration exists. You can see the issues and the alerts. Note that if you click on an issue, it opens a dashboard in Instana. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.